Hi everybody, I'm Philip Van Dusen. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about five gadgets that every designer needs. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna talk about five tools, five hardware tools that designers can't live without. Number one, a Wacom tablet. Designers are really prone to repetitive stress injuries. That's by using a mouse for eight to 10 hours a day in the same position in a very unnatural position for your arm. And you can develop tendonitis, and all sorts of uh, problems uh, in your hand and in your wrist. I've seen this happen countless times with designers that I've had, and I've always pushed them to use Wacom tablets. So my first gadget or tool is a Wacom tablet. They cost about $350, and you can get different brands other than Wacom, but I highly recommend having a tool like that. Number one, it allows you pressure sensitivity, so you get thick to thin lines, which you can't really get with a mouse. You also have a much more natural kind of hand motion and hand pose as you use a Wacom for input. Another thing that I've just bought recently is an Anchor uh, vertical mouse. And this is a lot less expensive than a Wacom tablet. It only costs $14, got it on Amazon. And instead of having a mouse where your hand is flat and your wrist is slightly bent up, which causes all this difficulty in your tendons, an anchor mouse you hold sideways. So it's a vertical mouse. Your hand is in a much more natural position. And it's super cheap. And I found it just in the last few months to take a lot of stress off my hand when I have a heavy designing day. So look into that. The second tool is hard drive space. Now I know a lot of people back up to the cloud and I back up to the cloud too, but I also like to have and control my own files. So I have a four bay external drive, a Thunderbolt drive that I keep on my desktop. It has four two terabyte drives in it. There's a drive and then the second drive is a duplicate or mirror of that drive. So I have two two terabyte drives with two two terabyte backups. And those are actually backups of the files that are on my main computer hard drive. So I have multiple redundant uh, backups of my files. I highly recommend that you do something like this so you don't lose data. It's amazing to me how many people are still losing files when they have a catastrophic hard drive fail. And like they say, it's not if your hard drive's gonna fail, it's when it's going to fail. My third gadget is one of my favorites. I've had these for 15 to 20 years, Sony MDR, headphones. They're studio monitor quality headphones, meaning they don't accentuate the highs or accentuate the bass like a lot of headphones like Beats headphones. I'm a musician, so having a very clear um, and unaccentuated sound in my headphones is really important to me. Also, headphones are important because designers don't like to have a lot of distractions. And if you're working in an open studio or if you're working with a lot of people around you or you're working in a coffee shop and there's a lot of noise and activity, Having headphones is a lifesaver. You put on your own jams, you get into your groove, and you can design and not be bothered. So headphones are an absolute must. And these Sony MDR headphones are only 100 bucks, and they are amazing, so I highly recommend them. The fourth tool that's a must for designers is a 35 millimeter DSLR camera, so a digital 35 millimeter camera. I have a Canon EOS 80D, and that's what I'm filming uh, this video on right now. And it's using the kit lens that comes with it, which is an um, 18 to 55 millimeter lens. The great thing about having a 35 millimeter DSLR is that you have a lot of flexibility in shutter speed, in aperture, in different lenses uh, that you can use for zoom, with time exposures, et cetera, et cetera and also the video capabilities. So I highly recommend having a 35 millimeter DSLR. The fifth gadget is an iPad with a stylus or a Microsoft Surface tablet with a stylus. The important part is the stylus part. So you have a pressure sensitive pencil-like input device so you can sketch and draw and paint on the go. You can get iPads that are earlier generations for as little as $300, $325. So there should be nothing preventing you from diving in to getting that gadget. The final gadget that I'm gonna throw in here as a bonus is I just recently purchased an external monitor. And flat screen external monitors are amazingly cheap these days. I was totally blown away. I got an HP 27ES 27 inch external monitor. It's an LED monitor for $189. What I do is I keep that at my studio and I come in with my laptop, I plug it in so I have a great 27 inch monitor, but I don't have to have an iMac there at work. The resolution isn't retina level, 
but it's totally workable for the work that I have to do in my studio when I'm at the office. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit subscribe below so you can see my videos when they come out and visit me at philipvandusen.com muse and subscribe to my newsletter. It comes out every two weeks and I share an insight and resources and tips and tricks and trends on graphic design and entrepreneurship. And with that, thanks again for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>